do presidents have the right to disclose UAP information? They wanted to say, hey, disclose it all. Can they do it? Can they make promises? David Grush says no. Says it can't happen. There are some reports out there. Look, as of, I think, the other day, Trump said that if he was elected, he would push heavily. He'd make sure that, to, to disclose it. Can they make that promise? Well, look, I tell you guys each and every day on this channel, subscribe to everybody who's covering this, follow people who are covering this. And that is indeed the case with my Colangelo, who has a great, great post all the time. And so his post here is essentially, U.S. presidents can't disclose UFO information on their own. Asking the question, is that accurate? Does this include UFO videos? David Grush pointed out the Atomic Energy Act during his interview with Jesse Michaels on Alchemy America. Any presidential candidate who promises to declassify or disclose UFO information on their own is lying. UFO NHI secrets are hidden under the Atomic Energy Act. Presidents do not have the authority to declassify anything from that act. Legislation like UAPDA is required, which calls out this act directly. That's from Reddit user Tommy Shelby, actually. Link to Reddit post here. Now, you have the stuff here from Saul. Findings and declarations of Congress preserve centralize all federal government UAP records. Pre presumption of immediate disclosure for all UAP records. But you see the, the point five here. Some UAP records are exempt under the Atomic Energy Act of 1954, evading mandatory, mandatory declassification. Documents classified as FRD cannot be declassified by the president alone. Rather, under the Atomic Energy Act of 1954, there is a process which the secretaries of energy and defense to determine whether the FRD designation may be removed. Executive Order 13526 relating to a classified national security information due in part to exemptions under the Atomic Energy Act of 1954. All right, this also goes into play a lot of stuff that I think Lou Elizondo has said and uh, Stephen Greer and a lot of other people have talked about how the, that's, the president, presidents are looked upon as just kind of hired guns, right? That it doesn't matter who's in charge at that time, that they're not going to really be able to do anything because these people that have been doing this thing for a long time, the private companies or whatnot, just see them as, you know, they'll be in, they're out. In another four years or another eight years, it'll be somebody else and we'll, we'll be fine. So they have the power that they have or whatever they're going to do, but there's only so much that they can do. And this is why this Schumer rounds thing is so important. And I, the eminent disclosure and all that stuff. If you have that UAPDA thing go forward and you have the kind of language in there that they've heard time and time again, that's the type of stuff that gets things moving. And it's also, I think, more so... Why it's not necessarily true, I don't think, in all ways to say, well, the, the, whoever's president is not really important. That, that, that's, not, that's not true because it's the administration in general that's going to be the importance. It's the people inside of that president's administration that's going to be pushing forward to either get this thing passed, the U, UAPDA, push it a little bit more, pull some strings to get it passed. Like There are things in place that the president can do that can make it happen. They just can't outright say, to classify that. They don't have that kind of power to do that. Do that. Push that. They can push for it. They can say, hey, listen, I want to make sure that this thing happens. But this is my question overall, right? Let's say it's going to be rounds that's going to be the one that's really pushing this thing next year. And let's say that uh, Kamala Harris takes the election, right? And then rounds is the one that's really pushing it because rounds and Burshit and Luna... And they're the ones kind of front and center on this thing. Is it going to be a political thing where it's like, no, we're not, we're not spending our resources on that. Vice versa. Let's say that Schumer is still pushing it forward. And the one who said, well, I promised Harry Reid I was going to get this forward. I'm going to make it happen. But Trump wins. And then Trump says, well, we don't want you guys running this thing. We want our guys running this thing. And it becomes, this is my, this is my biggest fear as much as I always say how important it is that Congress is uh, is fighting for this, and it is, because it is them sniffing around and making it more relevant, makes it get covered, makes the things happen. There's no doubt about that. But the problem is that they're so damn destructive in there, and it's so much of a us versus them mentality that 
I don't care how kumbaya it looked during that hearing. They're going to be going back and forth on one another. So can this UAPDA thing get passed no matter who the president is? So regardless of how much it's like, yeah, sure, the president because of this thing that's been put in place. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. That just one Because let's say there's somebody, a president, that's like, you know what? I want to be the one that's doing it. I want to be the one remembered forever. Release it. Put it out there. Show all the footage. And it's like there should be protocol. It just, I think more so whoever it is, whether it's Trump, whether it's Harris, if they're really taking this thing serious, they say, we want to do the proper steps. We're going to make sure that these things are put together in place. We know that this bill, we want to make sure this bill is going to get passed. We're putting our weight behind this. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to make sure that this bill gets passed. Because if this bill gets passed, then this whole thing about releasing the footage, we can do it now because, you know, we... we we bypass that and all these things, these obstacles that have been in our way, we're getting past it now. And those types of things have been in play. So whether or not they can do it or not, who the hell knows? But it makes sense to me. It's like, you know, and, and I also think, again, whether it's Trump, Harris, whoever, I don't think they probably even know about this, that this, this bill, that the, the Atomic Energy Act. I don't think they realize it, that they probably think, that for the office that they probably could do this. Yeah, I'll 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 do that. And then someone goes, well, well, you can't because of the Atomic Energy Act. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, you can't. You got to push this thing forward. So maybe that's a good thing. They, they they tell them you can't actually do that, but there's ways for you to get that done. So I don't look at this as a negative, like of like oh, necessarily like they're lying. I think maybe they don't they don't know. Whoever it is is saying, it. and it's like. And it, it could be just being naive and saying, like, oh, yeah, if I'm the president, I can just say, let's do this. No, you can't. But will you? The question is, will you take the next step and get this damn thing passed in December? That's going to be the majority. That's going to be the biggest story on this channel in when it comes in December. This and the hearings. It's going to be the biggest thing that we're going to be talking about is because I think it's going to be a major step back if, it, if the same thing happens that happened last year. But I don't know. What do you guys make of this news? You think this is a big, this is a big story? You think this is something like how much pre, how much power does a president really have that they can't that they really can't do it? Or is this kind of par for the course of the you know the loopholes you gotta go through no matter where you are? Put your comments in there, let me know. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. What's holding you back? Be part of it. Be part of the conversation. Thanks for being here today. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you real soon.